Do you have restless legs that sometimes cause you to wake up? It might be a tingling or an itchy feeling, some feeling that makes you just want to move the legs. In this video, we'll just do a few movements so that you can have a nice restful sleep. Let's begin. This practice would be great right before you go to sleep. You might want to have something by you, such as um, a strap or a belt or a towel. Before we lie down, you might want to massage your legs. I have this little, I call it a peanut, to roll on my thighs. So as you start, you might, with your hands, just kind of move the muscles nicely. So a nice massage. Of course, it'd be nice if all of us could afford massages really regularly, but especially in this position, the calf muscle and the top of the thigh, the quadriceps, just see if you can work them nicely. I also have a rolling pin that I use in my kitchen, but it's really nice to get especially this outer hip area massaged with that. So however you do it, just uh, spend a few moments here to bring your attention to the legs, to massage the tops of the thighs and the backs of your shin bones, your calf muscles. And after you do that for a little bit, grab your strap and straighten your right leg and just take your strap around not the toes, not the heel, not the arch of the foot, but the base of your toes and hold on to the strap. And just draw your toes toward your face and spread your toes so you engage. You'll feel the knee engage as well and draw your toes away so you're starting to work the muscles that support your ankles and draw the toes back a strong action to offer some resistance with your hands. So you're just moving forward and back. And if you need some support, of course, you can lean against the wall. Now let's draw our attention to the opposite leg. So bend one knee and hold on to the strap or the towel and just go forward to point the toes and back, but keep the toes really spread so the whole leg is very active as you do this. We're just doing a few stretches before you go to sleep and to wake up the, the legs, to give them some movement, which is what they are often calling for in restless leg syndrome. And once you've done that, come to lie down on your back. And as you lie down on your back, bend your knees. And as you bend your knees and press your feet down, draw down firmly through your heels. Without moving your feet, pull your heels in toward your pelvis. And you'll feel the low back really lift when you do this and keep that nice lumbar curve and inhale, lift your pelvis up, keep pulling the feet toward your heart and release your pelvis down again. Inhale, lift your pelvis up, nice long evenness in the breath. Exhale, draw down a few more cycles here as you engage the legs to pull from the heel to the heart, lift up so that you get a nice stretch on the front side of the body and you can engage very fully the legs as you just keep on pulsing with the breath, draw the pelvis up and down and up on the inhale and down on the exhale. Find your strap again. We'll do a thigh stretch and roll over to 
See if you can just kind of hook the foot with the strap. So once you have the foot hooked, you can roll over to your belly. Some of us can actually grab onto the shin without any issue and come on over to your belly. So let's, let's try it with the strap just so that for some of us, those of us that can't grab the foot with our hand, we've got the strap around the shin bone. As you roll over, you can offer some resistance. So your foot is moving back as your heart is moving forward. You're just engaging the thigh really nicely with the toes spread, with the knee planted nicely to give yourself a nice opening on the front side of the leg. And you can release out of that side. As you grab the strap and take the strap around the shin bone, or again, for some of us, we can just grab the ankle easily, roll over to your belly, and draw the foot back. Keep a nice firm engagement of the hand and just kind of pulse with the breath. With the toes active, you're doing this nice uh, engagement of the back muscles, but really engaging the leg. As the leg moves back, you pulse and you lift the chest nicely and you come down. Now lie on your back. As you lie on your back, bend your knees. With your knees bent and your feet planted, take your right leg up in the air. Take your strap around the base of the right foot with the hands reaching wide. Just give yourself a little bit of a stretch reaching the foot toward the top of your mat. Now release your foot back somewhat so that you feel a little space here in the lumbar curve with your toes engaged and spread. You may want to hold on to the strap by taking the strap around your palm and just draw over to the side just slightly without tipping your pelvis so just a little bit so you engage your inner thigh muscles and you're drawing energetically in from the heel all the way to the pelvis and inhale lift your foot back exhale bend your knee and place your foot down let's come to the opposite side take your left foot up take the strap around the left foot hold on to the strap as you take the strap around the foot just take your hands wide apart and get the back side of the leg to expand so fully release your foot back so that you feel that curve again and without tilting the pelvis draw the left foot over to the left side and keep your right hip point balanced nicely. Breathe in and breathe out with a nice full engagement of the leg. And slowly come back and take your strap off, bend your knees again. And in the same way, unlike the traditional bridge pose that we do, we're just lifting the pelvis. We're not trying to get a big opening of the heart. We're just trying to get these legs engaged before we come to sleep to keep the legs very engaged. A lot of energy flow by lifting your pelvis up and draw it down. And one more time, you lift up and you draw down. And now release by just extending your legs out to come to a nice resting position and enjoy your sleep. 
without your legs becoming restless just through the engagement of the practice that you did. Thank you for the practice. Namaste.